Hey, what's up, everybody? Just want to talk to you guys real quick about property investment. Um, I have been a landlord now for about seven years. And this video, first, let me uh, say this video is not meant for um, financial advice or rather to encourage or discourage you from getting into uh, property investment or being a landlord. But just to give you my experiences um, with it. Now, when I started running out my property, it was actually the house that I lived in. And we had to get into a bigger house. Um, that house was just not working anymore. So we got into a little bit of a bigger house. Um, but at the time, when we wanted to move, we were underwater by a lot. I'll, I'll just say that we were underwater by a lot. Um, so during that time, a lot of people were giving their homes back to the bank. Um, and for me and my family, we just didn't want to take that credit hit um, and just didn't think it was the right thing to do. So we decided to rent our home out. Um, so we've been, I've been doing that now for about, um, <clears throat> I want to say it's been about seven years. Um, so before you get into property investment, there's a couple of things that you're going to need. One is time and two is money. Um, you're going to probably need a lot of both. Um, but money, more important is the money uh, part of it because you may not have to put a lot of time into it. But if you're gonna say, but if you're gonna sacrifice, but if you're gonna um, not put time into it, then you're gonna be putting a whole lot of money into it. Now, um, the property that I rented out, as as you heard, um, it was my home that I lived in. So I did not buy it as a um, investment property. It was a home that was already um, pretty much ready to rent out because it was the home I was living in. But if you're going to buy a property for um, investment purposes um, and you're buying it from, let's say, the bank or um, foreclosure, then chances are you're going to have to put a lot more time and money into that home than I had to put in this one since I lived in it. Um, and it was already pretty much up to code. So um, then we got to look at the renters that you're going to have in there. I've had three renters um, in the last seven years that I've been running out my, my, my property. And let's say the renters I have in there right now are pretty, are pretty good, pay on time um, and all that. But the renters that I had prior to them were uh, deadbeat, uh, uh, deadbeat renters. Um, they stopped paying for it. Um, and then at one time, and then they moved out in the middle of the night when they got their, uh, papers that they had to move um, and then they pretty much trashed the place it took a lot of time and money to get it back up to the point to where we could actually rent it out again um, so during the time that you if you're choosing on renting out a property um, it's going to take a lot of work. I mean, if you've heard uh, Silver Slacker's uh, videos on this, I mean, he puts a lot of time into fixing up his properties um, from what I've heard so that he can, um, so he doesn't have to spend as much money on hiring people to do it so he does a lot of the work himself. Uh, but you have to be capable um, or have the skills to do a lot of that work, which um, I don't have that time. So I had to pay for a lot of people to go in there and every time there's a problem, a, pl a plumbing problem, um, appliance problem, um, stuff like that, I have to, you know, find people. And um, there was one time when they had the furnace stop working, middle of winter, snowing, um, below zero, and they had no heat. So I had to try to find somebody on the fly to go in there on a holiday, mind you, to go in there and fix the um, the furnace. So there's a lot of there's a lot that goes into 
uh, renting out is not just making money. Now, if you were able to buy a property for cash and rent it out, that um, is probably, a, that's a little bit different or a lot different than what I had to do um, because now you're, you don't have that mortgage and all the money that you make on it or that they pay every month on it can go towards fixing up the property in case anything were to go wrong. And the other thing that you need when you run out of property is you need insurance. You need a lot of insurance. You need liability insurance in case um, something, in case they were to get hurt or in case, you know, someone else was to be on that property to get hurt and there's um, lawsuits involved um, also that you have to protect yourself with. So you have to pay for um, landlord, landlord insurance and then they have to pay for renter's insurance. So there has to be two types of insurance. They have to be covered um, and you have to be covered in case, you know, in case the house were to burn down, in case there was um, an accident um, and you don't want to get sued. Um, so there's a lot of different things I would, um, if you're in the market for uh, renting out here or trying to do an investment property, do a lot of research on it. And you're only looking at right here, seven bucks because that's all I had in my pocket at the time. Um, but you are going to need, at the very least, lots of money, possibly lots of free time, um, and, uh, and you're going to have to be able to take a phone call in the middle of the night um, in case something's wrong and they need to talk to you. Um, so that's just a little bit of what I've experienced in my about seven years, I want to say, of uh, renting out a, um, a house. And um, so this video was not meant to encourage or discourage but maybe it would help somebody if you're in, if you're in my situation. Um, so, but to end the video, I am going to be selling my uh, how, this rental property because I just want to get out of it. Um, we're well above water now um, from where we were. So I am hoping and praying that in the next you know few months when the lease ends, that the housing market is still going to be strong. Um, and that we are still able to be above water and make some good money. Um, basically, the value of the property now is where it was, maybe a little bit under, maybe a little bit over from where we actually um, bought it at. So I'm, I am hoping that in the next you know few months when I go to sell it, um, it is going to be in the winter time and. Um, I'm hoping that uh, that we're able to make a little bit of money off of it. Um, one positive thing from renting out a house um, that you lived in um, and that you have a mortgage on um, is paying it down. You're relying on somebody else to pay that house down. Um, so while you're still paying a mortgage like I was, I was still paying a mortgage every month. They were paying on time. The, the last, these people that I have in there now, uh, but the prior, you know, uh, tenants were, uh, like I said, deadbeats. Um, but you have to hope that people will pay you on time and that you don't have to go after them for the money and they'll just mail it to you. Another thing that I had prior, um, with the prior tenants I had in there was a property manager because I didn't have the time. I was working in a different state and um, I didn't have the time to deal with it myself. And um, this property manager was also a deadbeat who, when they called him, he was more uh, involved in his own properties than wanted to be, than, and he really didn't want to be involved in mine too much, so I had to fire him. So there's a lot of, it's not all, roses there is some uh lemons out there um and just wanted to give you my side of uh renting out a property so hope this video was um informative hope it helped you out 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, um, and I will uh, give you, um, I'll answer pretty much everything. So thanks a lot, everybody, for listening. Please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks a lot. Talk to you on my next video.